Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Josh's Comics. Happy Holidays, even though it was last week. I um, hope you guys had a great Thanksgiving, you guys had fun, and uh, had a good time with your families. Uh, over the course of the weekend, of course, uh, with Black Friday, I picked up some good things. Fortunately, some of the things are not here yet. Uh, 360 Comics, who I've been doing a lot of haul videos of his lately, and I got some more coming out. Uh, I'll have even more coming out later this week or next week because he did three nights of live sales Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. I picked up some really great books, really great additions to the PC, and some things I really wasn't expecting, but I was like, I shot on. And he, guys, he had great deals, great books. Uh, this is brand new selection from a. Uh, a recent purchase he made for a collection. So he had a lot of new inventory. They are great books. But uh, I didn't get any of that stuff in yet. So I'm only going to talk about what I picked up physically over Black Friday weekend. And then I went to my local comic book store. I I'm going to pull them up for you guys so you can see them. It's called The Comic Book Store. It's in uh, Wilmington, Delaware. I highly recommend you guys check out this store. I've gone there quite a bit. Uh, I've done quite a few haul videos from them recently, and I love. I, I just love it there. It's it's the at atmosphere, the the workers. Like it makes you feel like a family kind of thing. Like everybody's so nice and sweet. You you know you walk in, they got tons of uh, back issues ranging from any era. Really, they got wall books. They got tons of trade paperbacks. They even have a selection for toys. They have a lot of some older Star Wars stuff, uh, DC, Marvel toys, you name it. I only picked up two books from them for the Black Friday sale, but I also managed to pick up a eBay Black Friday sale. I'm gonna call it because I got it. I picked it up on Thursday. It was a bit of a discount, and I just got it here Saturday. I didn't realize that the seller was closer to where I live. So I'm just going to show you guys that haul. It's a little haul, but like I said, when the 360s Black Friday haul sale comes in, we're going to have a lot more books. But let's just get to it. Uh, I've been wanting to get this one book for a while now. Um, I know the spec, the hype on it's probably died down. But I still want to get it because there is rumors that we're going to get a future movie. And I, I would like to see the character return and get a proper movie. And I think she's a great actress and she's pretty badass. So let's just get down to it. It's uh, Captain Carter, number one. Uh, I'm probably going to probably send this in and get the slab. This is in, I mean, this is in top condition. I don't want to say it's a contender, but it's it's in top condition. I'll probably send this when I get in slab. Not only did I get Captain Carter number one, I also got Captain Carter number two, Captain Carter number three, Captain Carter number four. And Captain Carter number five. I got the whole set for. They wanted it thirty. I made a, a sale for twenty five or a bid offer. Uh, they took it for twenty five. I got the whole set for twenty five dollars and a number one, which is in pretty mint condition. Considering that slabs of number one sell for over a hundred bucks, uh, I'm pretty happy with that purchase. Uh, my second eBay purchase, um, and it's probably not my last, I'm eyeing a few other things on eBay right now, and as long as the seller has got, you know, a good track record and everything, and I'm always looking at that, I feel kind of confident with the on eBay. Again, I prefer to pick up my books physically, but is what it is. Uh, these two other books, though, I'm going to show you are the pickups from the comic book store in Wilmington, Delaware. Lately, well, not lately, but recently, The Walking Dead has come to an end after, what, like 11 or 12 seasons. Uh, I used to watch it. I'll be honest with you. I love that show. I never read I never read the comics, which I know. I got to get into eventually. 
that's part of the tour right here, but the show I really loved, I fell out of it in season 9 now, it was a few episodes after Rick Grimes supposedly died, and a lot of the original cast were pretty much gone, and I just didn't see a reason to keep going. Um, I'm going to be honest with you, I think probably seasons 1 through 5, maybe even 6. I know 1 through 5 for sure, I think the, the first 5 seasons were phenomenal, loved it. Season 6, that's when it started kind of getting okay. Season 7, I still enjoyed. 8, that was like the all-out war between Negan and Rick's clangs, you know, fighting together, which was, it was nice, because it was just an action pack. and now, like I said, I only saw the first few episodes, um, and I haven't finished the rest of the series, I'll probably go back on Netflix, and I will do it, but, congratulations to them, I know they're doing spinoffs, uh, but I want to go and pick up some Walking Dead comics, surprisingly, that Walking Dead comics, even though when they were running during the show's, uh, airing, and high popularity, not a lot of people order the books. Like a lot of the Walking Dead books are low print runs. Every single issue, from issue one all the way up to like one ninety something, I think. Uh, I found this book. This is not a key, but I thought it was a pretty cool cover. And I'm pretty sure I know I know who's on the front. The one guy. I'm pretty sure the other one's Rick. But this is issue one hundred three of the Walking Dead. Uh, I'm pretty sure that I know that's Negan, and I'm pretty sure that's Rick. And this is a a couple issues after Negan popped up on the show and in the comic. I'm thinking this is when he shows up um, to the community and tells Rick he's like taking off of his shit and everything. But that was pretty cool. They had a they had a good selection of Walking Dead at the comic book store. But it was everything from like the high like 90s up. Um, nothing lower. You know, so I might look in. And I'm not going to buy every single issue. I'll probably just buy the uh, trade paperbacks or Army Burst editions if they have them to read the run of course and then certain key issues I'll pick up but so that was a cool cool little pickup this one I wasn't looking for but I was flipping through the bins uh, all back issues were 50% off uh, so I said hey if I find something good and I mean you know it's a good price I'll pick it up now this book if you go back to one of my previous videos, uh, I went to an antique store. I don't know if I told you guys this, but I found this book at an antique store, and it was $95 they wanted this book. The antique store version, that when I went back and I did a second look at it, was beat. I mean, spying ticks, it had chips missing, the color was fading bad. So... And for that price, and I'm glad I didn't overreact and buy it, because I found that issue of World's Finest 173 for 40 bucks. After the discount, I paid twenty dollars for this. Now, lesson learned, and this is also for newer uh, people who are looking at comics. When you go to a comic book store, even if you go to a comic book store. Look on the back cover to see if there's any writing, to see if it says anything. Because when I got out of the store, I was thinking, man, like this, forty dollars is a, uh, according to Key Collector, which sometimes the prices are spot on, a mid-grade copy goes for forty bucks. So I was wondering why it was forty bucks in the beginning, and I didn't think about it. And to me, looking at the front cover, not taking it out, I was like, ah, oh, this is in good shape. I mean, guys, there is nothing. There's maybe a one, two, there's maybe two spine ticks on the cover. I mean, other than that, right, you know, I'm like, oh my god, this is in good shape. I don't know if you guys can see that. Cover loose at top staple. I got, I got into my car. I took this, I wanted to like take this out and look at it. I just wanted to see what's going on with it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this out. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't, I think this might have been a manufacturer uh, problem. Maybe not. Well, I don't know. You can kind of see with a staple. 
the top staple was supposed to be. Um, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. Uh, it's also got like a little crease down here in the corner. You guys probably won't be able to see that. Oh, no, you can. So you guys, when I open this book. It's a little loose, but honestly, it's not that much loose. And this book is beautiful. And the key significance behind this book is, I believe it's his first Silver Age appearance of Two-Face. Let me just put this back in for a minute, and I'm going to go on Key Collector and we'll look it up. I'm pretty sure it's the first Silver Age appearance of Two-Face. Now, with that little crease, which I honestly think can get pressed out, and with the little two spine ticks on the cover. And the only big thing on this book is that staple missing. I'm deciding whether I want to send it out to CGC or not. I'm going to have to. I, I, I'm trying to. I'm actually asking some. I prob, what I'll probably do is I'll probably go on some of the forums and post pictures and get other ideas. I don't know how much a staple missing. I know if a staple is missing because of a factory uh, issue, like, they, uh, doing a printing, you know, issue like that, I do know that it will not affect grade, but this, since the staple is missing, should affect grade, and I will tell you, yeah, first appearance of Two-Face in the Silver Age, number 173, so I'm, I'm happy to pick that up, I, I don't know how much of a grade drop I'm looking at. And I'm going to be honest with you. This is slabbing for the PC. I'm not reselling this at all. So I got a decision. I'm going to have to wait and see. But I'm going to get some I'm gonna get some more help and info on that. And uh, other than that, I mean, it's a beautiful copy. And I got it for 20 bucks. Black Friday deals. Next year for Black Friday, there's a couple stores. Well, and I'm guaranteeing that stores are going to have a lot of the same stuff next year. But... Next year, I want to definitely save up my money away for Black Friday because you found there's a lot of good deals at comic book stores. But hey, Christmas is coming up. I'm getting a Christmas bonus. Uh, we're gonna have to wait and see. There is a store that has a Batman Grail that I'm looking at. It is low grade. I don't know if it's still available. We're gonna have to wait and see. If it's available in a couple of weeks, when I get my bonus, and it's not, and it wouldn't chew up my my whole bonus, and it's low grade, but I may I may shoot on it. We'll see. And you know, I'm sure Christmas is gonna, you know, we'll have some sales, so we'll see. But yeah, guys, that's my part one Black Friday haul. My part two Black Friday haul. Um, like I said, we'll probably I probably get the books by the end of this weekend. Uh, if not by beginning of next week sometime uh, from 360 Comics. I picked up some really good things for the PC. Uh, I can't wait to show you guys. So thank you guys. Like, subscribe, and comment. As always, stay safe, take care of each other, and we will see you guys on the next Justice Comics.